What's going on guys, Black House here once more with Hearts of Iron 4 as the British. Last time, World War 2 began. We're in it now, folks. Let's hope we're in it to win it. Regardless, we have a lot of work to do. So, my plan. There's no way we're going to save Poland. Absolutely none. I mean, look at all the, all the forces on their border. I would love to be able to hold France. I very much doubt we're going to, be able to do that. Uh, so, after that, it's practically hope we can get the Spanish involved. I would like to be able to go around and hit um, the Italians. I don't think we've got enough Marines here to be able to hold much. The good news, because there's apparently good news somewhere. What's this anyway? This is Oh, oh, Centurion. We got one. Ha! Ah, ha! Yes. Oh, baby, Centurion class battleship. Right. So we're gonna send you patrol. I'd like you to go search and destroy in this sector. Keep the Italians busy. Because we got the, we got the uh, got loads of things we need to see now. So East Africa enemy has air superiority. Let's get the air superiority map mode up. As you can see, that's like red. We can see where the, the Italians are. Can we? We have fights in the den. We have close air support. So let's assign as much as we can. Um, that airport's not gonna be there for long. <laughs> Hate to say it. Let's try and get another air factor over here. I could make it Hurricane Mark 1s, I don't think that's going to be wise. Let's throw up like two or three of these guys for now. Because they'll deploy, we'll probably want some more casts, so we'll grab some more hexes. And that will do for there. In Africa itself, we want to be using Malta to get us a couple more of these guys up. Uh, this is room for 600, we want a couple, fa uh, a couple hundred planes here. We def we don't really need cast. We'll grab it anyway. I mean, this is gonna be useful when we actually have the marines going in. But I want to make sure we have air superiority before we do anything. So we have all of our air forces around here as well. Um, everything scrambling to line. The French are. Uh, what the hell are you doing? The enemy's there, not north. I'm just going to go up here because, you know, we want to look good. <laughs> mm. What we could do... Ah, I see. They're moving up north. So we're going to be... Oh, God, no. Oh, no! Um, This is going to be bad. <laughs> we have to hold off against the Italians. We're in mountains, I believe? Yes. Alright, uh, we need to get our air power flying. So first things first, uh, we need to actually sort out. We haven't got anything down here. We could just do that ground force to be fair. Uh, we have air superiority over Italy apparently. Only five minutes. Let's put some over here. Uh, I don't want. Oh, we'll sign them off for now. And we'll scrap some. So scrap you. Scrap you. Scrap you. Scrap you too. Uh, scrap a couple of these guys. A couple hundred of these guys. As well, okay, I'm good. we'll do that. That gets us this priority. This is gonna get us a ton of air experience, by the way. <laughs> like you'll see, it racks up very quickly. And let's do it close air support. And naval strike isn't worth it. Uh, we're gonna have. S we don't need any in Bendalu just yet, but we do need some in the Alpine region. So keep you back. Keep you back. Because this priority is worth a metric ton. What the hell? How many planes do we have? Jeez. I'll just sign some of these up north. Uh, put the cast on that. We actually do want naval strike up here because the Italian navy is a bit stronger than the German. We'll put you pre out and then back up here. Sign all. Grab the spares. There's a couple. Mm, we could have the fight. We could have the bombs going, I guess. Thing is, this is going to get a ping because we don't have the um, thing in the line. Not that I'm annoyed about that, it's just I don't really like hearing a ping. Uh, we could probably do a... Let's put one over France. Or maybe more than one. Okay, in the carrier. Yeah, you got it. Uh, we've got plenty of anti-air in states. Uh, we've got a submarine flotilla just sat at home. A spare heavy cruiser fleet in Portsmouth. I think we're going to be fine with what we got. What's 
What's Ireland like? Why won't you join the faction? We have a war that may be joined into. Why would you be willing to join? We have a war that would maybe join into. Great. <laughs> Once I contain the aggression of Slovakia, you'll see like eventually you do see more factions turning towards you as the Germans get more aggressive. Because you get people like, oh, we won't contain them. Hello, Italy. Uh, I haven't got a fleet down here. How many get by me? Hmm. That's a boat. He's got to go. Japan join the Axis. Oh, God, no. Uh, <laughs> so that's the fun one. Because Japan join the Axis means they now can attack Hong Kong. Or other random things. We have 75 ships here. What? Oh, see the... No, a massive fleet. <laughs> hey, the war spikes here. <laughs> now, this is just what the uh, naval battle thing looks like when it's resolved. We sunk three convoys. And we have all planes survive. Sweet. So, next up on our list, we want to start our offensive. So, Western Desert Force, I want you guys to start moving in. Why are you guys still training? You have probably just lost your opportunity. Uh, do it. Move in. We've got enough. We should have enough of that. I'd love to be able to put some cast in there, but... We'll be able to break through. I mean, there's not really a lot they can do against us. And we've got a lot of divisions there. It's triply that's more concerning. As silly as that sounds. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, what's this? Lower supply. Probably because we're overstacked. And lower supply down. Uh, why is that one in low supply? Ah, because we just conquered it. Got it. So you do see like these plans do move quite fast, and then you work out a new phase from there. Um hoping the Italian front isn't gonna to take too long to advance. Please. Please. You have the easier front. How is the Alpine line getting on? It's the Alpine line that worries me the most. Dude. And the French are here! <laughs> They're not going to break the line. The French could actually very merrily go up north if they want to, and we could hold it for them. We do want to get those artillery to uh, put in, though. We are making inroads here. We're making inroads here now. That's a good start, I believe. Yep, that's some inroads made. Uh, we have a pause strike. Strike on Central Mediterranean Sea. Oh, we lost a sub! Oh, I get it. Because they're in port, they're getting hit. So you're really clever. Alright. Uh, we want you to go convoy raiding in these three. Because that's, oh, that's the most obvious route they're going to take. They either go through here, and go here, or they go through Italy, uh, Tripoli, and go there. It's not Tripoli, is it? It's not Algeria, is it? Libya. Uh, how else could we do? Well, we, we've, we've got enough experience to upgrade our divisions, so we are actually going to do that. I want to give them support artillery. Uh, this actually adds a ton. Um, yeah, 22.5 soft attack in one thing. We have loads of artillery going spare, and to be fair, anti tank wouldn't go miss either. It also wouldn't go. Oh, it also wouldn't go miss adding one to the back. Um, yeah, it's 0.8. I can't. I think support uh, yeah. support divisions do not affect max speed of division other than combat worth and do not increase combat worth. So really, we do want the support here. So we'll put that there. Uh, but this is going to take a while to sort out, mostly because we have a ton needing artillery now. Uh, is that going to keep up? We are actually very we're up to date now on machine guns on LNGs rather, so we could shut down production on this. Uh, we need a lot more 18 pounders. We have all the anti-tank guns we'd need. The Centaurian got deployed, that's a good start, and we are now just hoping for the best. So, I don't want to fall into a fo the phone new war. What the hell, what's Portugal doing? Uh, if you don't know what the phone new war is, basically Britain and France believe for the longest time, hey, we're going to win. Yeah, win. With, with the Allies, we won the Great War, we can do this. I don't want to fall into that trap. We lost a submarine. The Germans are operating down here. We have a lot of cast, so we probably do want some um, 
planes just to cover the sea. Let's get a couple of you guys. So we are going to carry us on. We're not going to deploy the marines yet. Ah, we lost their power. We lost their superiority for the south. So we need planes here. Uh, let's look over operations. We're getting through nicely, actually. Romans finished stage one of the invasion of Tripoli. Um, the reason I'm going this way around, by the way. Oh, um, South Africa wants to send ooh, 32 expeditionaries. Okay. And Canada's sending 13 divisions. So, um, the reason I'm doing it this way, by the way. You want to sweep the coast, take out this naval base here, along with the ones over here. The idea being, you catch the start out of supply. Once you've done that, they are not going to stand a chance in the fight. Practically the same rule over here, but the mail base is down here. It's just, I don't mess one. Pin them in the corner, to be fair. Do you? The Germans are down here. Wow, they will go fast. Uh, have we got any more air power we can commit down here? We've perhaps got all the cast we can get. Let's try and deploy. Small cast from here. We haven't got any. Okay, apparently we're not even deploying it, so you know what? Bonk. Get that. And uh, any naval strike. We do need this and this. We'll move you guys along as we need to. But that should help our advances out a tad. I said tad, I didn't say it would. Um, but you're free, what are you doing? Oh, you are moving in, okay. And we've got a naval battle going on. Uh, Central Med, uh, 75 versus, I'm going to say it's a convoy. Yeah, we caught a convoy. Received one critical hit, and the glorious in combat. Uh, because we've got so many ships, they're actually this spread out, we would be better off having more than one navy. I just don't want to. Um, the... The Malaya is going to get there first. But this is just a convoy raid, so we're... We're gonna be we're weakening Rome. They're weakening the Italians slowly. Never naval battle in the Eastern North Sea. That's against German forces. I'm presuming it's planes. Ah, it's, it's more convoys. Oh, so they're gonna ship. I see. That's that's quite, quite clever. I'm given that. Um, so you actually do want to go convoy raiding? Uh, to be fair, we could do convoy escort. Cover here, here, and here. I think, can we do this? Nope, too far. Can we do three sea zones? Okay. Uh, so we actually do have a need for the... Uh, for you guys. Let's go convoy raiding here, here, and here. Then wherever the Italian ship through, we're going to be able to have a handle on it. And when the Western Desert Force finishes, we're going to move them down south and help out the Southern Desert Force. So the French are over here trying to help us out. We own Tobruk. Tobruk fell in 1939. That's a grand old star, if I do say so myself. Alright, we need a... Are we... Have we got the Air Force in Malta yet? Okay, we do. Good. Right, so this is the one that's under threat. So let's do this. Cancel you, cancel you. Put the rest over here. And there we go. So that should give us a bit more leeway there. There we go. Ace pilot promoted. Okay, this is kind of a bit of flavour, but it also gives you some benefits. Few take as many risks as the brave pilots of the British Air Force. Richard Light Leons, a skilled pilot known under the callsign Night Owl has distinguished himself in not only returning alive, but piloting his Gloucester Gladiator with immense skill. Recently, Richard was on a mission over Tyr the over Tyrrhenian Sea, and was instrumental to the success of this critical encounter. Held up as a shining example of British courage, Richard re Richard, uh, Richard's recent promotion has been highly publicised. Although the people may view the war as more hell than glory, many are glad to see there are still heroes who to rally behind. Who dares wins? Yes, yes. Now, this is actually something interesting. Uh, let's see, can I find him? There he is. Richard actually acts as an ace. He's kind of a commander sort of thing. If you have him in small air wings, they give, well, they give you bonuses. So you can see, like, air speed, max air speed, agility. If you put him in smaller air wings, they get bigger benefits. It's better to keep him in air wings smaller than 100, which is why I 
there's the guy that I read actually said just do it in 100s. It works out so much easier. And to be fair, I agree. 100, it's it works out so much easier because then things in 100s anyway. But that actually will help out our force. There's actually a doctrine you can get. No, no, yeah, one of the doctrine upgrades that actually makes it so you can get aces quicker. The thing is, this is the British method where you got to down 20 planes, I believe it is, to be called an ace. The German method is you got to down 5. Now, I'm not against aces, don't get me wrong. I love the idea of them. But, wait, what? Have I got the wrong thing down here? I'm sure oh, we got some new stuff, I guess. Um, I'm not against aces, don't get me wrong. But I think I do prefer my the British method mostly because it's actually a lot more reasonable. Because you don't pilot, you don't give people promotions on just whims. You know, it's not, hey, he's shot down a plane, do it. Uh, we are actually doing very well for manpower now, so next ship's coming out will be fine. Let's actually get some more planes. Uh, you guys are all... Actually, this one's nearly full. Alright, we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, working on the Pas de Calais. Yep. Alright. I, I really... I don't really want to risk moving. This has got to be a naval... This has got to be a convoy raid. It's a convoy raid. Uh, what's this? Missing, production. Missing carrier fires, naval bombers, and CV naval bombers. Really? Oh, because I don't build... Yeah. Because I don't build carrier stuff. Alright, we actually do need to assign stuff to that. Um, CV naval bomber. One second. Carrier fighter, which is the Nimrod. Which, to be fair, is probably outdated at this point. And CV naval bomber. Which is the shark. We're not going to give them too much. I think the, the Nimrod is the more important of the two. What's the other one? No, we're not using the bombers as is. The Italians are on the move. Can we catch him? That's a good question. Okay, let's. We need. I need to get a good view on this, so we're gonna move you into here. I need to see what's on this side of the island. Because these guys might be here for nothing at this rate. How goes the operation? Uh, we are. We've hit a snag. We are actually. We've made some ground. But we're starting to lose. We're not losing ground, but we just snagged. What are you guys up to? So you're in low supply. Well, we're breaking through soon anyway. You do want to try and create pockets when it comes to fighting the enemy. Um, just to come out of supply, because it really makes the fight a ton easier, because you can just go, okay, this guy's surrounded, we can kill him at our leisure. No supplies, you can't fight uh, when you go down to, I think it's one organization? What's that? Bay of Biscay. Hello, we found something good. Uh, a Italian. Never. Convoy. That's why you use submarines, good sir. What are you? You are Spirit Taxation. So I'm going to hunt them down quickly. Steedies as well as subs. These guys do not stand a chance. They try to get away and not gonna make it. There we go. So we have enough to do another upgrade. So I'm gonna edit this stock to this one, and we're gonna give it anti-tank guns. Now you might be thinking, why give it anti-tank guns? It's better to have some kind of anti-tank than nothing, because if you can't damage a tank, you do half of like organizational damage to it and take double, which is a big penalty. Now don't don't. I think that's light. That is a big penalty. We are on the verge of cutting them off. Benghazi should be struggling to get supplies about now. We can create a pocket if he, he's moving north. We have a pocket forming. Here we go. Okay, now he's pocketed. He's getting no supplies. So he's going to find it very hard to move if he's, mo well, if he's some kind of motorized unit. If some, unfortunately, he's infantry. His organization will drop like a rock and he'll be an easy kill. And if he can't get out of that, he will be instantly wiped out as soon as we beat him. So, a wild ace appears. Few take as many risks as the brave pilots of the British Air Force. Thomas Montgomery, a skilled pilot known on the callsign Eagle, has distinguished himself in not only returning alive, but piloting his Hurricane Mark I with immense skill. Recently, Thomas was on a mission over northern France and was... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It just keeps doing this. 
That's another ace. We've got Monty. I do like the flavor of him. And uh, why aren't we killing you? What's up? Uh, we are. Uh, no, you're just way more skilled than we are. Wow. The tanker led the assault, maybe we could do better. Uh, he's actually pushing us back. There we go, tank brigade's in. We're still losing one. Alright, we need you. Get in over here, that should be enough to tip it. No, it's not! Okay. Um, let's throw you in as well. There we go. Then he'll be wiped out, and then we'll get back to the fight. Um, I do think Ethiopia's actually the biggest thing. Oh, we lost Night Owl. Night Owl killed over Tyrrhenian Sea, one of the United Kingdom's most uh, famous fire aces, Richard Night Owl Alliance, has gone down the line of duty. Pilots returning from the mission reports, reports having spotted his hurricane going down in flames over Tyrrhenian Sea after taking heavy enemy fire. Unfortunately, since he has, has long since been a public figure, the demise of the Night Owl is severely demoralizing to the many people who looked up to him. While well, we wish there was a way to hide this event from the people, the lack of public of public appearances from Richard was soon raised suspicion. Ultimately, his death is another part of a legend that will hopefully live on past all the current troubles. The living legend is still better, and that's true. So we can actually change production in the other things as well, which we actually need to do in our hurricanes. Uh, Mark one hurricane isn't bad. We actually have upgraded them once. I would like to get an engine done again. Because agility is your chance to be hit and how likely you are to hit. And then you got how fast they fly anyway. And again, reliability is always useful. I mean, there's a chance things go wrong. Our weapons is always good. Yeah, more air attack is damage, damage. You lose some agility. Okay, lose some speed, lose some agility. Let's get this worth fancy name. Hurricane. Um, tiger. Shush, not imaginative. <laughs> I'll admit it. It's going to be used for upgrades, uh, sorry, replenishments to begin with, and then it'll be used for upgrades. We have a long way to go with small arms. When we get the BSA, then we'll be able to sort that out. But right now, we are actually making a lot of headway. Yeah, we're making some inroads now. We're getting there. Oh! Belgium wants to send one division as volunteers. Okay. Haven't we also got other forces coming as volunteers? Whatever happened to our volunteers coming from the Commonwealth? Uh, they're doing rocketry. Okay, so let's try and get the V2. Or V1, rather. Um, what happened to our expeditionaries? Why are they called them back? Because they're... Um, no, they're sending... Oh, wait. Wait, so have we got spare soldiers somewhere? Yes. Ooh. Very close. That is actually really useful. Um, sign to that. We are going to use you. Um, take Neil. There's way too many for Neil. Um, Alright, take Alan. And you're going to sign on to this front. Actually, no. Scrap that. I'm going to sign you to specifically... Um, about these sections. And your plan is to take uh, this naval base. That shouldn't be too much for you. It should be quite easy to do. Um, so that's them out of the way. Didn't we get some from Canada as well? That's a fleet. Is it over here then? Yes! Ooh, ooh, got Canadian troops. Okay, join. Um, yeah, go join Monzi. He's gonna need the help. When the Germans come, they're gonna come hard. They're gonna come fast. We need to be ready. This is why I love playing the Commonwealth, <laughs> playing the British. Wow, we need to sign that OMGs out already, really? Because you get so many reinforcements and aid from your your neighbor, your Commonwealth, the com yeah, from the Commonwealth, it actually does make it a ton easier for you. Uh, let's uh, can't add anything. Let's train up some more Marines because we're going to need them for the 
No doubt. Grueling invasion of Italy. I'll put you to... Uh, it's you. Yes, I'm going to see it. It's... Uh, you guys. Yeah, there we go. So when you guys train up. Uh, we actually should be training up some more infantry. Or we could train up some tanks. I mean, they're medium tanks, aren't they? Light tanks. We are making tons of light tanks. We haven't got a lot of tanks as it is. We do need to make a lot of alterations at least, because these are atrocious so far. Train another infantry and train another uh, tank division. And we'll choose the deploy them in London. I don't really want to leave you in London, to be fair. I think... Go join... This line. How is the air war going? We've lost the Battle of Northern France, apparently. Um... Yes, we need to reclaim our superiority. Let's actually win down enough. Great. So we need to get more planes up. <sighs> We're losing more planes than we're getting, that's the problem. Are we actually getting any new... Well, it's not 1940 yet, so we can't get the Spitfire. Shame. Uh, nine days and we get the 25 pounder. Then that's going to be fun, because we've got to upgrade everything after that. We need more combat so we can... Oh, hello. Yeah, that's going well. We nearly finished the first stage of the invasion of Tripoli. You guys... Ah, you're not... You're the guy. Yes. Let's actually give you a name. Um, uh, Africa. Plus Alpha. There you go. Command. Uh, so they're railing up. Which is going to be very helpful when they get there. Problem is the um, just sheer level of infrastructure down here makes it very hard to move. Can we invite a faction? No, because war. Because war. Oh, you Turkey. Turkey is not going as fast as I thought they would be. We're gaining. To be fair, Greece probably is going slow. Probably even slow, to be fair. The Polish are dead. There's no way we can help them. The zone is literally no point in trying... What the hell's going on here? The zone is literally no point in trying to help them. Because they're just not going to get anywhere. But at least we're forcing the Italians out of Africa. Yeah, maybe a bit more headway would be nice. There we go. You go in there. So now they're pinned in at Benghazi. I know it's a port, but it's still a pocket. That is probably the best we could do. What are you doing? It's... Are you engineering? So we're engaging a convoy, I'm guessing? Yeah. It's weird, I haven't seen the main uh, main Italian navy yet. So some missed. It's convoy raiders. We also turn and, and Caligari. Somewhere? Where's Caligari? Yes, yeah, so now we have loads of troops among the Empire we could grab, but eh. All right, do we want to try and push the Italians a bit? I don't think we have enough ground forces on at all, really. But we don't have the means to upgrade most of them with tanks. And we do actually need to start getting the Crusader put into our ranks. Or, where is it? Is it uh, it's not, not a Crusader anymore, is it? What are we doing? Uh, you're not even anywhere near you, are you? No, you're quite far away. Damn it. So close. Italy is... there we go, 25 pounder is done. 25 pounder is probably the most famous British artillery of the war. So, you can bet I'm happy to have that. Still 1939. Um, let's go with... We're upset here, that's the thing. 
could go for some fairly good oil, but that really see the point. Can't really work on CAS or fighters yet. We could work on upgrading our CV craft. <sighs> Probably naval doctrine, to be fair. Or we could work on getting the Southampton out of the way. The thing is, we can go to Crown Colony through the Admiral. Nah, work on doctrine. We don't really have any new guns to work on there. And we could work on some of the new tank variations. I mean, it is time to get the friggin' um, Crusader mobilized soon, anyway. Looks like names of them. Oh, yeah, they have stock. Good. We could start working the Valentine. I don't really see the point, to be honest, right now. We could work on getting the Bedford with the rocket artillery. I think the engineering company. Cause I think just about everything we've got to use the engineering company. That's gonna help our dig in. Uh, the war in Italy slow. The winter is slowed down. The war down here is stalemating, which is gonna be annoying. We've got a gap for them to get into, but they're holding the line. We have a hell of a pocket to clear out here, and that's an empty hex. There we go. Belgium's got a troop in Derna? Where the hell's Derna? Down here? Alright. Um. That's a Canadian. That's a ton of Canadians, what? Yeah, go join the, um. BEF. I think at this point where I've got that I don't really have any job for. We don't need a cab. We'll leave the cab back home. Anything on the sign? More Canadians. <laughs> it's nice of you to think about helping us, Canada, but you know, Sail and Defence Force is unassigned. We'll put you in the Hong Kong garrison, probably. How's the war in China going? Eh, it's not bad. Got a sail and defense force, Gibraltar defense force, and assigned Malta command, Natal command. See these guys? Huh. That's where we haven't got any. Alright. Ah, we can actually upgrade the force. Okay, so. I want to upgrade the tanks to give it another. No, it can't be 25. Christ. Is it worse every time? Do I give you anti air? We're not making anti air at the minute, are we? No. It would be useful, but it's not worth it right now. It's the last thing I want. Right, we've got to get this pocket cleared out, and then we're fine. Like these guys cleared out, we've got them all pinned. We need to clear Benghazi out. Benghazi is the main objective. And then we ha. No, about going on. Another convoy raid. <laughs> How many more? Like, I appreciate that they're giving us targets, but yeah. Are we in war with Japan? I don't think we are. Are we in war with you? No. You're allied with the Axis. Hmm. I'm going to have to call that a part there, however. Um, because we actually are out of time. So, next time, let's play Hearts of Iron 4 as the British. We're going to carry on the war. We actually are holding quite nicely. We're saying that they haven't even finished off Poland yet. Um, Italy is in dire straits in Tripoli. I mean, we're about to cut off a ton. Well, we've cut off a ton of divisions. If they don't bail out now, we're going to get Benghazi. And once Benghazi's gone, these guys are out of supply. It's in a matter of time. Hey, right, right. After that, Ethiopia isn't going to last very long. So, next, I'll see you next time, folks, for more in Hearts of Iron 4. As we have the glorious music playing <laughs> every time. Freaking love this song. See